What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to be going over what you guys should be doing right now, my team, MT wise, market wise, gameplay wise, pretty much everything wise. Before we get into it, man, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. Let's get 120 likes on this video, man. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, shout out to all you guys for 10K. Once again, man, we're getting closer and closer to 10.5K. Once we get 10.5K, we're going to do another giveaway on twitter make sure to follow the twitter we are selling xbox mt20 god this one's terrible but we're gonna go over anyways and we're gonna go over some old ones too before we get into the video man make sure to smash that like button drop a sub let's get 120 likes on this video man who this locker code's terrible Ooh, ooh. let's just go over it i don't even i don't even want to say my intro it's so bad oh uh, let's go over the locker code man i'm gonna show you how terrible the odds are on this locker code it's so gross they just dropped the worst locker code history. Like, honestly, I don't think any of anybody, any of these packs, I don't think anyone even wants to pop these packs. They're literally going to get you a 1,000 MT at max. But uh, we got, <laughs> here's the code, man. That's the code. You can pause the video and look at it. And then we got, what? Yo. Ugh. Oof. Oof. I'm going for the legacy, man. I'm going for that. That Everything else is, whoo. No, 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 no yeah yeah so we just got the worst pack in the game and now we're gonna get into the other part which is what you guys should be doing in my team right now guys make sure to hit me up man and literally i'm also buying mt if you guys do want to sell it let me know um but yeah guys today man um we had no content which is pretty interesting they didn't even drop a, a locker code at least yet i was waiting for a locker code that's why this video is gonna be a little later I was honestly tanning my backyard, bro. If I look a little tan, I need to get a little tan, bro. I was looking like a ghost. I couldn't stand it anymore, but straight up. I was literally sitting outside waiting for a locker code, literally lurking on Twitter. And honestly, bro, I haven't seen any locker codes, so that's a big L for us. I was really hoping we got a locker code, but yo, what you guys should be doing right now, honestly, we're going to go over the auction a little bit, and yeah, okay, actually, hold up. We're going to go over TTO, man. TTO... I literally say it so much. I sound like a broken record. I sound like an idiot, but if you want to make mad MT, man, hop in TTO, dude. TTO never fails. It's so OP. And honestly, you can get packs. You can get the free Galaxy Opals. There's just on and on and on. I believe one of my boys did get David Cohen's on board today. So shout out to, your, to the sub who got him. I forgot who you are, but thank you because there are still on boards right now. They'll probably be gone like tomorrow or something, but yo... Let's get into it. What you guys should be doing with your cards? What you should be doing right now? All right, let's go over some cards. Let's think about it. So, I came to the conclusion almost every single Opal non Evo is going to drop consistently. Okay, maybe um, Booker is going to drop, Simmons is going to drop, Sabonis is going to drop. I mean, Sabonis is trash, so he's going to drop anyways. Um, a lot of like, okay, so like pretty much the non hype beast non-evo i don't know the non-hype beast evo cards are going to drop okay now every single other card in the game is probably gonna go up why because we already had the market crash bro there's really it really can't crash anymore so now the market is probably going to rise it's going to inflate that is my prediction why do i say this because i think friday we're going to get more content and honestly, it might crash again Friday. But for right now, I think these prices are pretty stable. And if you really want, you could sell them. Because it looks like the auction house glitch is gone. Which makes me really sad. As a 2K player, I love the auction house glitch. I cheesed it. I learned the methods. And now, it looks like a lot of opals that were around the 100K range are actually going to drop to that 100K range. Like, to the buyout price, I've noticed that. But some of the more rare Opals are going to go up in value. Besides Ben Simmons, they're honestly staying around the same price as yesterday, which is interesting. I believe the market does inflate tomorrow because tomorrow we're probably not going to get Super Packs. 
We just got the Decade Super Pack. So, honestly, I don't think you should. Um, I think you should sell your cards because, honestly, we probably have another six weeks of content. It's only May 11th. They'll probably drop content up until late June. With that being said, I can't even imagine what kind of content they're going to drop within the next six weeks. Like, it obviously has to be insane. And it obviously has to be better than these cards right here. It has to be better than all the cards we pretty much have on our team. Like, for instance, they're going to have a better Giannis. There's going to be better cards in Manu Bowls. going to be better cards in RJ. Better cards in Jeff Green. You'll see, man. I know what I'm talking about. All I'm going to say, what you should be doing right now is 110% selling your cards. Yeah, you could probably get more MT down the road. But honestly, throw up your Opals, throw up your Pink Diamonds, because honestly, I really don't think they're going to rise anymore, man. If you guys do know, as the game goes on, as the days go on, Opals get cheaper, Opals get cheaper, Pink Diamonds get cheaper. Nothing ever stands value towards Endgame. You have to realize that. As the game goes on, you will never see Opals for 500k anymore. You'll just get, unless it's like the most rare card in the game, obviously. But like, for instance, man, Draymond was like, is about a buyout. Luko is 350 out of points, 235. Yao Ming's actually really expensive. I don't know what the hell's going on with that card. Um, Jay Terry, man, Perzingis was at three something. He's cheap now. It just shows, man, throughout the days. And not only that, they do add Evo. It means the non-Evo is going to drop a ton, even though the non-Evo is still OP. Um, KD, honestly, one card I would say to honestly pick up. Honestly, it'll probably end up dropping in value. But I do think he's a very good card to pick up. Even though, yeah, he's 400-something K. This KD card is something else, man. He plays so good. I miss him. I wish I could get him back. I miss him so much, bro. Um, what, like, honestly, there's just so much you should be doing right now. Let's go over some snipe filters, honestly. I'm sorry about my little rant, but honestly, I think it's safe to sell right now. It's pretty much, it's pretty, it's a good time to sell. I wouldn't say it's a bad time to sell whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Well, let's go to the diamond filter real quick. See what's going on, man. This filter has been straight money. And of course, the power forward pink diamond moments filter has been straight money as well. But it does look like the diamond filter did rise like Coutinho Mobley did rise so if you guys did invest in him that's a pretty big W um let's see what we got over here so Diamond Filters looking dry today yo they had no content I'm so surprised they didn't even drop a locker code like honestly I'm shook that's very interesting they always drop locker codes on if they don't drop content they usually drop locker codes and honestly bro I'm honestly gonna say that I think the market is honestly inflating I don't know if that's a snipe I'm gonna buy it anyways Jay Williams for 12.5, probably not even a ah, decent snipe, I guess. Oh, it's because of the max bid. I messed up, didn't I? That's a big L, isn't it? Don't show Jay Williams real quick, please. Don't show him, please. Whoa, there's a lot of David Thompsons up there. He's trash, that's why. But yo, honestly, 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 I'm going to give you an overview of everything right now, okay? So. This is my method. This is how I made most of my MT. So ready? You're going to play a TTO game. You're going to win. If you don't win, this method isn't for you. If you're not good at TTO, stick to mini filters on the auction. It's so money. So play a TTO game, win. Get your board. Hop on the Ami filter. Hop on the Obo filter. Whatever you are more comfortable with. Whatever the best filter is. Like whatever you think is the most deadly filter. Personally, I like the Ami filter because it's very quick and easy. Or the 650 filter. So let's go over it. So now, Ami filter, 1300, refresh, refresh. You should get a couple snipes within the minute. If you don't get a couple snipes within the minute, do it until you get a snipe. And then repeat, man. Play a TTO game. Go to the diamond filter. Play a TTO game. Go to the opal filter. Or honestly, if you're feeling big baller, you could just sit on the pink diamond filter. Just right now, the whole entire auction block is so out of whack. And it's honestly annoying. I don't even know what to do anymore. Like, honestly, I want to snipe so bad. But, like, at this point of the game, at this stage of the game, I don't know if the game is working at all. Like, I literally have no idea. So, I kind of honestly been staying away from the auction because I already have MT. It's really just been investments. It's been investments, investments, investments. And also, is it a good time to invest? Honestly, I'm going to say no. I mean, it was a good time to invest pre-market crash. If you guys were... Look at my video, man. The pre-market crash was crazy. Like, literally crazy. If you guys, like, the market crashed a little bit yesterday, but yo, the pre-market crash is always bigger than the market crash. Another tip for you guys. When you hear packs coming out, bro, get on the auction and buy your cards and invest because investments in the pre-market crash is absolutely crazy. It's crazy, man. Like, J.R. Smith 
Uh, Opa was rocking around 220s up to 300k. The pre-market crash was crazy. Um, Giannis, let's go over Giannis's. Oh no, no, we missed Snipes. Oh, okay, I'll take Reeves. Damn, I just missed a Dean Wade. He's going for like 25. But as you can see, man, that was literally less than a minute, and the Ami filter was balling out. But here we go. Real quick, before we do end this video, we're gonna go over Giannis real quick, and I'm gonna show you how much his price went up because it's crazy. He's at 400,000 MT with 11 minutes left with nothing on him, okay? This car was at 300,000 MT, man. It just shows how much the market is inflating. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys what you should be doing, man. Selling your cards, getting ready for Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.